What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you a daily breakdown and how I was able to make $4,000 trading as you guys can see right here on US 30. Okay, but before we do that I want to let you guys know that my program is still on a massive discount. If you want to get involved just go to ROFX.com then you're going to scroll down and you'll be able to sign up for my main program FX University and this is everything that's included and then once you actually go to get started it is $300, but I'm going to hook you guys up right now. Um, if you go right here to promo code, type in FX1, and it's going to give you 15% off. So really, it's only $255. Okay, so let's get down to business. Um, I got my charts pulled up right here. So like I said, I was trading US 30 today during the New York session. If you guys do not know, this is my strategy Um in a very short sentence or explanation, I should say, I can't even talk now, guys. I'm so excited. But I trade the New York session. I like to trade Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Sometimes I trade Friday. Today I did actually trade Friday because the market was super clean. Um, I like to look for certain candle formations that are going to give me confirmation on whether it's going to go up or down. And I like to look for certain patterns like A and V patterns. So earlier this morning, I saw that we were consolidating before the actual New York session did open up. We already were in an uptrend. So my hypothesis was like, you know what? It's most likely going to keep going up as it did for the um, beginning of the session. So this is where I entered. I entered at 635. I'm going to delete this so you guys can see. And I took three positions. So my first two positions were right here after this five minute candle closed. I, there was a ton of confirmation after that candle closed. I was like, all right, we're going long. That's a beautiful spinning top, rejected this level of support, and it has been consolidating. So here's a little tip. Whenever you guys see zones of consolidation like this, this is basically saying that we're just accumulating orders. The market makers are accumulating buy and sell orders. And whatever happened previously to that consolidation zone, it's most likely going to continue to do. So we are already in an uptrend, and then we just consolidated. The market was not moving at all, and it kind of broke to the lower side right is the market open for the um market open and then we can see that it did push up right here and then we did kind of break right here not all the way because we didn't get higher than this wick and then we could see right before i closed it started to break up and break this resistance right here so i entered on this five minute candle right here i had two positions then two minutes into the candle pushing up i entered another position and i held this trade for about 30 minutes right here so you guys can see that I did enter this trade on this candle and then I did I held it all throughout the zone of consolidation right here and then I did close right here at about 705 so that trade gave me a net profit of about four thousand plus dollars on that trade about forty one hundred dollars to be exact and it was a really good trading day all I did was I just looked at the consolidation and what happened before the consolidation zone and I waited about five minutes after the market opened to really get confirmation because right at the market open, if you guys do not know this, at 6.30 is when the market opened, the U.S. equities market opens. That's my time, 6.30 a.m. in California. That's a PST time zone. So the EST time zone would be 9.30. So I don't like to trade for the first five minutes of the market opening because it could do some really big BS. It could just shoot down and shoot up. And a lot of the time, if you go back in time and look at the five minute chart, you guys can see that a lot of the time for the first five minutes of the market open, there usually will be a false breakout where the market will go in the opposite direction that it actually intends to go into. Okay, so that was my trade that I took today. Um, I actually did have somebody ask if they could show me or show them a quick scalping strategy. And I want to show you guys in a, a very effective scalping strategy. For this, we are going to be using the one minute chart. Obviously, we're doing the same thing. We're using US 30. And what I'd like to look for is an uptrend or a downtrend. And I'm using the one minute chart for this. And it actually does kind of play out exactly how I use my normal strategy. It's just on a lower time frame. So I like to overall see the trend of the market. And then I like to see any V higher lows or A's lower highs. So I'm going to map it out for you guys right here. And also what I'm doing is I'm using my stochastics too. So if I see that it's oversold or crossing under, I'm going to buy. And when it's crossing over, I'm going to sell. Okay, so right here was a perfect setup right here. We already in an uptrend. Then we have this V bottom right here. We do have a reversal candle right there. A spinning top would have taken that trade right there. 
beautiful setup. Okay, we even have another one right here. Not so much a V bottom, but right there, we can see that we have a spinning top as well, and it just keeps going with the trend. We have another V bottom right here, and then once we hit this high right here, that's where it starts to go into a downtrend. So it has three hits, one hit there, then we have a second hit here, and then a third hit here, and then it starts to drop down. So we have a lower high right here, beautiful entry right there on that candle, okay? Let me um, mark this up so it's more clear for you guys to see. Okay, zoom in a little. Okay, beautiful entry right here on this spinning top, the bear spinning top, rejecting, rejection of the moving average, completely breaks to the downside. Then we have a lower low and a lower high. So within this lower high, I'm gonna be looking for a bearish candle, a spinning top, shooting star, any candle like that, that's gonna tell us the market's gonna drop even more. So right here, we do have this bullish candle, followed by a bearish candle, which is a bearish engulfing. And then it starts to break down. Then we have another entry right here. We have a pin bar with the wick to the upside, could have entered right there. And then it really does go to the downside. Okay, if you miss that move right here, we have a lower low, then a lower high. We have a bearish spinning top right here. And then we have a bearish pin bar right here. And then after that, it just completely tanks even more. Now, after it hits this low right here, this is where it starts to kind of consolidate and the overall move is done with right there. So we can see the market, the market open. It was a fast move right here. It was just like push up real quick. But this move, it, it plays out longer, but it has a bigger drop. So overall, this is on the one minute chart. This is just a quick scalping strategy that I use. My mind, guys, is all over the place. So if you guys are confused, just rewatch this video. And I will be putting out more content. Once again, guys, if you actually want to learn from me and get straight down to business, you want to cut out all the learning, all the Google research, all the YouTube, just go to my program, guys. It's $255 with that discount. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.